Welcome back to Risa's Embroidery Chess. I bought a Clematis stump work kit from the shop Inspirational Embroidery on Etsy, link provided below. And I'm really eager to review this kit and start stitching. Here's a peek at my completed work. You can watch more of my experience with stitching the piece in my stitch along video that I provide with each review. The package is very professional. The kit comes in a handy box with a clear image of the product a lot better than a number of kits that I've bought which are simply put in a plastic bag. It comes with a good quality 8 inch wooden hoop which you can use. A note from Jill Kipnis who is the founder, designer and teacher at Inspirational Embroidery. A link to her website is provided in the description below. If you live in the UK she also offers classes very pretty. Some effort has gone into putting the kit together, which I really appreciate. The kit includes a very well put together booklet with a list of materials needed, instructions on how to start the stump work embroidery, instructions and images on how to make the petals and the leaves, how and when to dye the fabric, how to finish the piece, and Finally, it includes a stitch guide as well. At the back of the booklet, it includes a template of the flat work, that means the leaves and the stem, and a template of the stump work that I would need to photocopy and trace onto fabric. The kit includes um, floss. Let's open it and see what is included. Uh, yep, it also includes some wire that you'll need for the stump work. And purple and green shades of floss, including some couching thread and as well as some memory wire. So let's put that aside and of course some needles. More on that in my stitch along videos that accompany all of my reviews of embroidery kits. Now let's open the package with the cloth. The cloth in the kit is not labeled and so it's a bit challenging to know which one to use first. So this one here is a fine weave linen followed by the fine muslin which uh, we'll use as backing and finally calico which is used for the stump work leaf and petals. Here's some promotional material on another stump work kit and a second note from the designer. So coming back to the booklet, I realize there is a list of materials that I would need that are not included in the kit. And that includes fabric glue and a stiletto, which I don't have, but I have an awl used for leather work, which I use to make holes on fabric for ribbon embroidery, which I think will work fine for this embroidery piece. In addition, um, I would need some fabric markers, and I'm gonna use Pro Marker, which are alcohol-based fabric markers, permanent fabric markers, um, and I need to pick a green shade that goes with the floss. I'll need a pencil to trace the design, wire cutters like this one available in craft stores, a pair of flat nose pliers to help create the wire shapes, and embroidery scissors. Here's a sneak peek at my stitch along video that you can watch by clicking on the link above. No embroidery kit review is complete without actually testing out the kit. Uh, and so that's what I do in my stitch along video and you can watch those to figure out if you would like to buy this kit. If you already have the kit then you can watch my stitch along video and I'll be a stitch buddy while you stitch this beautiful stump work design. Now is this uh, a beginner's kit? I would say not really especially if you're a beginner to embroidery so some experience with uh, embroidery work is required, especially since you would be using long and short stitch here like in the petals and some experience is needed for that. 
Thank you for watching and I hope this kit review was useful to you. Don't forget to click the like button. Now my next video will be my first walkabout series where I'll cover how I came about to stitch these beautiful mini beadwork shoes. Join me and don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye.